Oh my goodness. Hi, good morning. Oh. Let me see, I'm gonna bring a straw in here and I never do. <clears throat> yeah, hi, 877, um, just wanted to check in. Uh, had a feeling today, like, um, number one, look at my beautiful bras back there. <laughs> I just realized, oh, it's not my underwear, well, it's my bras, anyway. Old hat, we're, we're so used to bras now, right? We don't, uh, anyway, um, what was I going to say? Brain, fart. Just this morning, I felt like I haven't, I haven't been getting the time that I want, you know? And that kind of comes somewhat with having a child. I have a daughter, and um, she's in the, the stage now. She's uh, she's sixteen, and some change, and she's not quite at that age where she's driving herself yet. You know, we don't have a, a second car. Probably won't get a second car. She'll probably drive the one I have since we be working from home. But like this morning when I got up. I was kind of waiting to take her to where she was going today. And I knew I would have free time, like I do right now. Um, you know, once I had driven her. But I just kind of started to get this thing about, well, I don't have free time to do what I want to do. And, you know, kind of like built up and built up and built up and built up and built up. And built up. Oh. <clears throat> but then I realized that when I started this journey many moons ago, and I think there's even a video where I, um, uh, it was during maybe my fourth or fifth month, before six months, and I was talking about how much time, um, you know, how much time do I have? And I would, talk about, you know, if my day was illustrated by a sheet of paper and how much time I had to be myself. Oh, this was before I transitioned, okay? And I started to tear off pieces of the paper. You know, if if it was, you know, eight hours, what is that? One third of the sheet of paper, you know? Oh, this is my bill. Oh, this is my job. You know, tear that off. And then tear that off and tear that off and tear that off. You know, it's just kind of a visual example of how much time I had to be myself or to be, you know, be my authentic self. Um, you know, it was just such a fraction of my day, you know, like less than an hour, you know, because I guess at the time I was dressing, but, you know, I wasn't dressing. Um, I, the deal that I made with my, my ex was when I started was that, you know, I could only dress as myself during like my alone time, you know? So if my, my wife, my ex-wife was here or my daughter couldn't do it, you know? So then I had to just make the most of it. And, um, you know, I just didn't have the time. I just didn't have the time. And I think at the time, I think I was working from home. Um, I don't remember, but it was the kind of thing that, um, you know, again, um, I had to drop Katie off. I had to pick Katie up from school. Um, it was not, you know, anyway, the short of it is, I'm sorry, kind of all over the place. The short of it was, it may have been one or two hours a day, you know, which I was thankful for at the time, but I was also complaining because I didn't have that opportunity to be myself. And I guess <clears throat> kind of where I'm at today is, you know, to count my lucky stars that I do get to be myself all day long. And, you know, whatever time, um, 
whatever time I have to um, do my hobbies or whatnot. I'm kind of clearing off the table behind me. Um, you know, whatever time I have to, you know, paint minis, you know, um, you know, I need to appreciate that time. And much like it was then compared to now, you know, there is going to come a time, you know, probably when Katie is uh, driving or working and, you know, maybe a year or two from now, um, you know, I will have more time to do kind of some of the things that I want to do. I won't be so focused on getting her where she needs to go. And, you know, again, it's, um, and my growing up was so very different than the way, uh, you know, my relationship with my daughter is so very different than the relationship I had with my family, you know, um, my, um, my family, when my dad got a divorce, we stayed in our house and I stayed with my dad. My mom moved out. And my sister later moved out as well. She moved in with my mom. That would have been a major. In the multiverse, that was a, a branch. I could have moved in with my mom. And I wonder sometimes how my life would have been different if I would have. Um, but being young and dumb and impressionable and whatnot, I stay with my dad. But anyway, um, so yeah, uh, the way my house was set up. You could, when you would go in, you could go this way to my dad's room, this way to the kitchen, or this way to part of the house that was three bedrooms and a bathroom. And that's where my room was and my sister's room. And so when my sister moved out, well, my dad, he always went to his room. You know, he always went to his bathroom, his, had a bathroom. Um, you know, it was like, that was my own space, and so, um, you know, as I got older, kind of before I started working on my own, you know, I could go back in my room and be alone. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't interact much. I didn't interact much with my dad um, <clears throat> or my stepmom. My dad didn't. Um, you know, we weren't, I think I talked about this too, and I'm not trying to do poor me, but we, we just didn't do stuff together. We didn't, he didn't play Legos with me. He didn't play video. I mean, he, he did his own thing. Much like, I guess I see myself sometimes. I do my own thing, but I do do stuff with Katie. We play Minecraft and, um, you know, we draw and we paint. I mean, we do things together. But she's at the age now where she's doing stuff with her friends, you know, which is good. Um, kind of what teenagers do. Um, but for the moment, still, I have that, you know, first few hours, last few hours. What are you going to do today? Where are you going to go? You know. Um, <clears throat> so I just had to be patient to get to where I am now. And I have a couple hours here uh, to do what I want to do. Um but, you know, again, it's, it's, I guess, the whole, what got me thinking. And then I said, well, let me make a video because I can talk about how things were before. And, you know, kind of the same sort of feeling of I can't do everything that I wanted to do because, you know, the still kind of parental caregiver type thing. And I know, I know it's, a, it's ephemeral. I mean, it's. You know, a year from now, she's she may be driving, and she she may be the one saying, "Oh, I can't. Why do I? Oh, I can't wait to get out of this house and go see my friends." Or you know, and then if she decides to get a job, which I think she will, you know, when you get bit with that independence and um, you start to think about what you're gonna do, are you gonna go to college, are you gonna work? You know, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, she's going to have her own life. And um, I don't know. I don't know. Just, 
don't know, just made me, like I said, I, I realized where I was before and where I am now. And, <sighs> you know, we, we, um, we grow and our needs change. And, um, you know, who knows? I, um, I may meet somebody and, and I start to do stuff with them, you know, play video games and, um, you know, play D and D, um, uh, Warhammer or whatever, read. I don't know. I don't know. At the moment, I really enjoy sitting on a couch and putting my head, laying my head in somebody's lap, and I read a book. And maybe they read a book or they watch TV. I don't know. Just a little bit of human to human contact would be nice. Nothing necessarily sexual, uh, but just that hanging out and snuggling. That sounds really good, too. Um, but, um, you know, again, who knows? We just don't know. Uh, I've learned never to say never, you know? And on that note, I think I'm going to end the video. And then I'm going to get to painting here. I'm painting a blood bowl. Ooh, blood bowl team. Blood bowl! The game of fantasy football! Ha 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 Um, this was, this was a ploy to get me around new guys. Uh, it hasn't paid off yet. Uh, because I'm still working on my little minis, but um, it was, it was an attempt to get me out of the house, you know, and playing with new guys in the hopes of meeting somebody. That's all it was. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to sign off here. I wish you the best of luck in your pursuits and all that you do. And we'll see. Maybe I'll move those bras by the next time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. All right, till next time. Bye bye.